Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of data, specifically how we can create stem and leaf plots, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So in fourth grade you were introduced to a new type of data, a distribution or a data graph that you can use to show how information is spread out, and it's called the stem and leaf plot. And so you see here we just have 15 random numbers, and in this uh, situ problem situation, we might say that someone uh, was drawing numbers out of a bag. And you wanted to see how often you grab numbers from a certain band, the, the teens or the 20s or the 30s. Well, a stem and leaf plot is going to be perfect for that. So a stem and leaf plot is going to start with a vertical line. And it's going to have, and I'll go ahead and label them for you right now. It's called stem and leaf plot because you're going to have your stem on your left and then you're going to have your leaf on your right. And the biggest thing is going to be for us to show what the key is. So kind of like a pictograph, you're going to need a key. So let's put that down here. So if I see a four and then that line separating it, and then a two, that's going to equal 42. So in this case, we're just going to use the stem kind of like it's our tens place and the leaf like it's the ones place. There's other ways to do it, but that's the most typical way to do it. So right now we're going to start with our lowest number, and that's 10. So I'm just going to put a 1 in the stem, and then a 0 in the leaf. That represents the number 10. I'm going to look at any other teens I have, because you want to put them in order here. So we've got, looks like the next one is going to be 11. So I'm just going to put a 1 right here. I don't need to repeat the 1, because I already have the 1 in the stem for the 10 and then a one in the leaf, this one, and this one make 11. And so I've got 14, I've got 14 twice, so I'm gonna put two fours in my leaf. And that shows two different 14s. Then finally I've got a 15 and an 18. All right, so it shows that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers that are in this tens band with a uh, 10 in the stem. Next we're going to go into our 20s. So we're going to put a 2 in the stem and let's see what we have here. We've got 28, two different 28s, 26, 23, and another 26. So it looks like 23 is going to be my first one. And as I'm building it, you want to go ahead and just make sure that each number lines up vertically so you can kind of see how far they extend. You don't want to scrunch them up or spread them out different than the previous row because that's just going to make it look a little bit strange. I've got two 26s, so I'm going to put one right there, 26, 26, and then I've got these two 28s, 28, 28. So you can see right now I've got one less in my 20s band than I do in my 10s band. And then what's left should be 30s. So I've got, I'm just going to put that 30 right there. I know that's going to be first. I've got a 31. And then I've got a 37, two different 37s. And so what we can see here is that we've got a six in the tens band, we've got five in the twenties band, and then we've got four in the thirties band, and that's going to give us a total of 15 numbers. Let's look at another example. So we're looking at a different way to use a stem and leaf plot, and let's take a look at what we're going to do here. We see some mixed numbers here, so my key is going to kind of show me what's going on. Five, and then my line separating my stem and my leaf, and if I have a fraction after it, that's going to equal five and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my whole number in my stem. So I'm going to start with this one right here, two, and then my leaf is simply going to be the fraction. I'll put those two together, whole number fraction. I'm going to get my mixed number of two and a half. So the stem and leaf plot doesn't always need to be just a two-digit number. It could be decimals. It could even be a three-digit number. So I've got three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Those are my two smallest. One-fourth is smaller than one-half because you've got four equal pieces rather than two equal pieces. My one-half is going to be next. That's the same as two quarters. And then my three and three-quarters is going to be the next biggest. Now I've got four. Look at my four here. There's nothing there, so I have to put a zero fourths to kind of hold my spot there. And I'll put my one half, and then I'll put my three quarters. 